Hello everybody and welcome to the Etheric Odyssey podcast. I am really excited to introduce you to Winnie who has such an amazing YouTube vlogging talking about different very interesting things which I have been following for a while. She's even helped me stay sane in times that I feel like no one else understands. So um, Winnie, lovely to have you with us. Thank you for coming on. Thank you, and I'm happy I'm helping you stay sane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, tell me a bit about yourself and, um, you know, your channel and, and what what your purpose is and, and why you're doing it. All right. Well, um, I guess I could say I had an awakening of sorts. Well, I've had many awakenings throughout my lifetime. Um, little mini awakenings and then fall back to sleep, I guess. But um, this last one seemed to stick for me and that was in around 2015 or so. And um, it's just been a journey learning, learning so much and um, raising my frequency and being able to connect with i just say my guides other people will say their source self or their higher selves like whatever vernacular people want to use but i just say my guides um and as time has went on uh i just felt called to start a youtube channel and just share things that i have learned from my guides um, because it was maddening for me when I was waking up, so to speak, or raising my frequency. And I would search YouTube, um, you know, and listen to videos and try to figure things out. But nobody explained things in a really simple way. Um, it was always so complicated or they would say terms that just didn't make sense to me. You know, they'd make videos like, for instance, you know, doing shadow work or opening your heart or dark night of the soul or just all these things. And I'd be like, well, what does that mean? Because they'd never really break it down. So over the years, um, you know, I've went inward and asked these questions, usually during meditation um, to my guides or my inner world and and i get these answers and it helps me so much so i started making videos explaining the way i was taught to maybe help other people that were going through the same thing yeah no you definitely uh well i i can say you've you definitely helped me with certain things but the way that you brand certain things i'm like yes she's got it she's got it <laughs> nailed it there <laughs> so um you know, you, you, you mentioned uh, meditation. Um, I mean, I, I can maybe speak for myself, but I struggle um, meditating quite a lot. So um, what, what ways do you find it easiest for you to kind of get into that more um, meditative zone? Yeah, so I struggle with it even to this day as well. At times it's completely normal. Um, when I first started meditating, I was doing guided meditations and I fell so in love with it. I was like, oh, this is so great. And I was doing a lot of meditations by Lily and Eden, who you can find on YouTube. And um, just the, the process of my body feeling numb and, and not really feeling like I was in a body anymore and, and noticing there was like this whole world going on even though I wasn't doing anything physically. Like I just fell in love with that. Um, over the years, it has evolved to where guided meditations feel distracting for me now. And um, so I try my best to sit down or lay down, whichever mood I'm in. There's days where I can't sit because my back will hurt and, you know, just whatever. But, and, and what I usually do first is I, I just call in my guides and whether you feel connected to your guides or not, your helpers, whatever you want to call it, your angels, you know, I call them in 
and I just ask them to help relax my body. I, um, I imagine a big dial on my right hand and I imagine that that dial is connected to my logical mind, my ego self, my 3D programming. And I imagine turning that dial off um, and then on my left hand, I imagine a dial. And again, this is connected to, you know, everything outside of the 3D realm, my guides, my angels, um, my source self, you know, again, whatever you would like to call it. And I turn that up, you know, um, and I just sit with it. And, and there are times where I will find time has went by and my mind is way over in left field and i'm thinking about something from 1992 you know or something like that and when that happens it's really frustrating but i just kind of reel my mind back in and i'm like okay let's recenter and let's start again and sometimes you know that's what my entire meditation is you know i aim for like 20 minutes at a time mm -hmm. but um there's times where that's all it is i'm constantly reeling my mind back but i think that important work is still being done um you know we may not see it in the physical but i think that the act of just sitting still and centering yourself there are invisible beings if you will or helpers that are doing things that are working on you and that that physical act of just calming yourself helps that that to be done so don't feel bad if you have a hard time in meditation or you you can't seem to connect or you your mind's on overdrive it's okay like every single time is going to be different you know there are times where i'm really connected and an hour will just fly by and i i get these downloads and and i learned so much and i'm like wow my mind is blown but you know it's different every time so you just got to keep at it yeah yeah no that's um that's good advice and um maybe uh because i haven't meditated in quite a while to be honest i, I think i because i was the same like you i kind of started with um the guided meditation and that really helped me and then it got to a point as you said it was just really distracting but then just the meditation sounds my mind would just be you know going crazy here there and everywhere I couldn't center yeah. center my focus so um yeah I, and i know i i've spoken with a lot of people who kind of find find it the same struggle with with meditation so um it's yeah. just interesting to to know how others um experience the the downloads and getting into that kind of zone um right there's also you don't have to actually go into meditation and i do this a lot lately so i'm an artist and a lot of times while i'm painting i find myself yeah. in that that zone you know so whatever it is for other people you know that thing that you do where you just feel connected and you all of a sudden have all these great ideas come in <laughs> you know and stuff yeah. like that like you don't have to actually go into meditation just do those things uh, that you love doing, you know, gardening, whatever it is. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, that's um, that's good advice. Um, I also wanted to go into, you know, your OG topic, NPCs, and <laughs> something mm -hmm. that I um, also, um, me and my partner talk about on, you know, a day-to-day -day basis um, of just how crazy these organic portals are. <laughs> yeah. And, and, um, I've been, I, I saw the last few um, videos that you posted and, you know, couldn't relate more. And I find it really interesting that, you know, we're, we're completely different sides of the globe and different time zones and all of this. And we can relate to each other so much um, mm -hmm. in, in different ways, you know. Um, yeah. So kind of how did you figure out about the, the whole MPC organic portal um, matrix realm how did you how did you initially dive into that rabbit hole mm, gosh yeah so i think the very first i ever heard of npcs and whatnot was was um reading or listening to dolores cannon and she was speaking of the backdrop people um and i was fascinated by it and you know when you hear 
a truth that will resonate with the truth you already know, the truth you're holding inside. So when you hear something, it'll just it'll just feel this spark of yes inside, you know, if it's meant to be true for you. And I had that. Um, so I I think that I, I just looked up further information on it in the beginning and and I was blown away. I remember talking to my mother back in 2015 and running this stuff by her. And, you know, she was like, wow, honey, that may be true, but don't tell anybody else this stuff. You know? <laughs> she she just couldn't relate well actually maybe she could relate but she was just worried you know what people yeah. would think of me if I spoke it out loud but but <laughs> yeah so the information came like information normally does it'll come at you in different ways you'll you'll hear people talking about it you'll see videos on it all of a sudden you'll start seeing posts on social media about it um, you know you'll watch a movie and then it'll be in there um, that's usually the way certain knowledge or information will find us and um and the more you delve into it the more you'll see it everywhere and then you know i started asking questions to my guides and meditating on it and um and also when i'm out and about you know i'm telepathically always talking to my guides so i'm constantly asking them questions you know about these NPCs and organic portals um so it just kind of grew from there <clears throat> i forgot the original question now i'm sorry no 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 it's fine <laughs> this is what these conversations are about you know just coming off trail and going with your thoughts so i have had a i i there's something that i don't understand about NPCs which i've been trying to figure out and I always find out like, oh, maybe I figured it out. And then, you know, the the organic portals switch up and throw me off course. So I want to see your opinion on it. So there are certain people who seem, you, you may be pretty sure that they're um, organic portals. Right. But there are certain people who are kind of in the middle of being conscious and unconscious what what's kind of your your perspective on these in-between people yeah I know exactly what you mean I have quite a few of those around me so they're definitely NPCs or organic portals right first of all let's let's differentiate between those two an NPC is a person that is in the background they're going to be driving down the freeway in a car you know someone you're not going to touch or most likely interact with they literally are these background people or backdrop people mm -hmm. populating <clears throat> the earth game right <clears throat> to make us feel like this is reality yes sorry i had to get a drink that's okay. okay and an organic portal now that doesn't mean you can't interact with an npc because you can though they are holographic in nature um the technology is so far beyond what we have been taught or can comprehend so you may very well be able to touch an npc i don't know if you've heard the stories about the mountain ranges and the cloaking technology and all this stuff and people feeling a sense of dread so they they turn around like it repels there's certain areas that that will repel someone from going to right <laughs> but so you you may be able to funny I've got all these people walking by my window now to distract me speaking of NPCs <laughs> like it suddenly got so busy outside my window yeah okay like that. <laughs> yeah but but an organic portal um is a tangible earth suit if you will okay like we are in these earth suits in these bodies it's it's like very <clears throat> high technology high-grade technology and we're in these earth suits and an organic portal is an earth suit but there is not consciousness in it right there is no person 
not person, that's the wrong word, but there's no consciousness in the suit. It's more like an empty suit. There's and no soul. Be, right. Mm -hmm. And this organic portal can be used by the darker forces to mess with you, basically. Okay, but it also can be used by your helpers. They can jump into the game and interact with you on a, on a human physical level. Um, if you imagine like a holodeck and they plug in at the holodeck, kind of like the movie Avatar. And um, they are able to jump into these, these bodies and interact with us, whether it be good or bad. So there are some people that you really get the organic portal feeling from them but yet they can be helpful and um though they seem not really awake or wouldn't hold conversations like we're having now um they can do things that you're like hmm they kind of seem awake so yeah it's tricky um lots of times those people are placed in your life to maybe give you an experience or help you in some way because not all organic portals are of the more nefarious nature they're not um some are very helpful some are um there to support you um because again they are inhabited by the there is no good and bad on the much grander scale, but they're they're inhabited by lighter beings. The the, the love light beings, yeah. right? Correct. So I've noticed that around me as well, where I'm like, I am absolutely positive that person is a, you know, kind of a filler person, but yet I'm interacting with them, and you know, for instance, maybe. Well, I don't want to give for instance that it would give me it would give it away to some people that live near me and watch <laughs> my videos but yeah I have noticed that as well and so just try to look at it as they're not all of an a lot of them seem to be of the negative influence and I would feel like more of them are more of the negative influence but not all of them yeah I would agree with that statement um, yeah <laughs> sadly but you know there's some people yeah and you know i i don't know i'm i feel like with especially let's say closer friends of mine where i could be more of my my authentic self in regards to um like the the interest i have in these kinds of um different realmly topics i i speak to them about it even though i know you know they're probably organic portals most likely organic portals and there are certain times but it, it's like you said certain things can can come in and out of them and utilize them but sometimes i'll be having a conversation and i'm like yes i'm getting through like um mm -hmm. you know they seem like they're understanding they're throwing things back at me and we're having a back and forth conversation and then you know maybe next time i see them it's just like a, a, a stone, a rock again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. I know exactly what you mean. Mm. And um, so there's always the possibility too that that person is not an organic portal and they're just not awake yet and you're planting seeds of awareness. Yeah. Um, we can't wake people up. You know, they have to do it by like, themselves. Yeah, it's more like a scripted event, you know? Yeah. Um, but, I mean, there's always that possibility. I, I try these days to not put people in categories of, even though I have an inner knowing, you know, I try to just treat everyone as if they're everyone's sentient beings because mm -hmm. there's this real moral compass issue I get at times from knowing that I'm surrounded by organic portals or NPCs because it makes them steam less than me. Mm -hmm. Like I am better than them or they quote, aren't real. And um, there's, there's a part of me that feels like, okay, I know this information and it's useful, but at the same time, um, 
I will feel bad. The the real, the empath in me comes out and I just, it, it just feels wrong to place people in that category. So, so I try not to, you know, I just try to view everyone as, as, you know, a consciousness here on earth going through this ascension process, trying to claw their way up out of 3D and some are awake and some aren't, but I know deep down that's not the case. But do you know where, what I'm trying to say with that? Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah. No, I, I, I feel the same. It's this kind of, kind of inner struggle, I guess, of um, knowing they're not, but still, but the thing is, I feel like me personally, I can, you know, sit in my room and I can think about all of these different things and kind of think as people as uh, inanimate and just background people. But then as soon as I come into contact with someone, it's like that kind of switch, maybe 70% goes off. And I, I do start speaking to people as if, you know, we're, we're all in the real world, you know? Um, yeah. But I feel like sometimes that can, I guess it's being able to have the understanding and control over um, being able to turn that switch up and down because, you know, you can be in certain situations and someone will really wind you up and you allow them to wind you up because you probably haven't turned turn back down that NPC dial um, to make mm-hmm. you, you know, remember that it's okay, you don't need to get annoyed, this is the reason why um this yeah. person has even come to interact with you um so i guess it's it's in the moment trying to find that balance between um yeah the understandings for sure i mean there's going to be days where you're really on top of your game and and you've got all of this in the forefront of your mind as you're going out into the world and you're interacting with people and you know the organic portals are not going to bother you because you're going to see it for what it is and no one's going to be able to tick you off and you know you're going to laugh it up but then there's other times where the minute you start talking with someone all of that goes out the window for whatever reason and um every every little interaction is taken to heart and it hurts and you get angry or you know you're like why and then you get home and you're like ah why didn't i remember so that's normal (laughs) you know yeah 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 100 percent um so i also wanted to ask you how you cope with kind of your understanding of um the matrix game really um how 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 does it affect you on a day-to-day basis and plus following that what what advice would you give to people who have just maybe come into understanding and understanding this these kinds of topics who are maybe struggling to keep it together yeah okay so first part of the question coping with it on a day-to-day basis so there are days when knowing this makes life much easier because you can zoom out and see it from a bigger perspective. And especially when looking back upon my past and some of the choices I made, I'm like, ah, I get it now. You know, I was more on script. I, you know, or this person was placed in my life to, you know, make me, um, searching for the right word this person was placed in my life to make me feel less than you know and um raise me up this certain way um so and knowing it's a it's a matrix of sorts i don't like using the word the matrix but it's the closest thing i can come up with so knowing that it's a matrix so it makes it somewhat easier on on one level but it also it can be difficult because it's so hard to find other people that know this information and that they live their lives accordingly. You know, I'm so lucky that one of my daughters is super, super, we'll say, you know, just woke. Right. And, um, probably is more knowledgeable than me so i am so lucky to have that relationship um and be able to bounce things off her and talk to her but it's really hard 
and Adam as well, my partner. Um, but it's really hard when you are awake in this matrix and you know what's going on and you just see all these people in their lower 3D selves and they're just, they just don't have a freaking clue. Um, <laughs> it's really hard um, because you, you, I find myself constantly like trying to speak my truth, but also at the same time thinking before I speak because many people, you get that glassy eyed stare. They just don't even know what yeah. to say to you the, you fluoride, the fluoride look i call that <laughs> yes that's a good one the fluoride look so um yeah it's it's i mean for the most part i think it's positive for me i'm like super grateful to have woken up when i did i'm super grateful that i am a high frequency person and and wherever I go and whatever I'm doing I am focused upon helping everyone around me so like before I even go to the grocery store I meditate a little bit and I spin this energy really wide around me and and I call in light and and so when I go out you know anyone who's in this like 12 foot perimeter of me people I pass by I'm I'm intending that I am going to help lift their frequency and, you know, make their day better. And, and I do this, you know, every day and everywhere I go. So I'm super grateful for that. Um, and just knowing what I know, I'm so grateful to know what I know, you know? Um, and I, I look back upon my life before I knew what I knew or know what I know. And I'm like, that is just such a hard way to live. I mean, to believe that the reality you're in is real and to believe in politics and believe the viruses and the wars and to believe all this stuff and the fear that goes along with it. It's just fear everywhere. And to, to, to believe that all of that is real and to be stuck in that and to be in toxic relationships and and have no self-love and just all this like really yucky vibrational stuff it's horrible you know um so i am grateful to be where i am and as far as like people just coming into this it's really rough when you first come into this like you might find yourself really angry you know like one of my first things i learned about was the mandela effect and i was like why is this like that and who's doing this and is it CERN and it's like you want to blame someone you know and they lied to me and history isn't real and you know like there's like, there's like some anger and like who can I yeah. blame for this and um and it's just like you just got to go through it you know it's, it's, a, it's a journey it's a process and you just have to know that it's a process we have a tendency to want to skip ahead and and just be enlightened and it just doesn't work that way you know mm -hmm. so um i guess i would just tell people to listen to other channels that really resonate with you like i said when when you hear something that you're meant to hear okay that's going to help you along your journey that truth will resonate with the truth you already know inside and you will feel it. So just keep putting in the work and listening to people that help you and, you know, try to meditate and, and, and just try to take better care of your physical body. And, and remember it's mind, body, soul. It's a three part process, you know, um, it's, it's, it, it's hard. I mean, it's hard, but it's much easier to be awake and to know the game you're playing than it is to not be. So, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah, no, I definitely agree with that. Um, that's, yeah, super advice. And I wish certain times, you know, I, I'm, I'm grateful for, for finding certain uh, channels such as yourselves because certain things have really resonated and kind of helped put your mind um it with more clarity i feel like and and that mm -hmm. that being able to resonate with something can kind of ground you and and put your heart and your mind and your spirit more at peace 